Darren, I want to ask you a key factor or re a revelation in your, um, maybe a turning point in your life professionally and personally that um, helps you with the success that you have today. Yeah, there have been so many. I mean, uh, one of the events I do is called a summit and I kind of reveal about a dozen major epiphanies that I've had in life that I think if people can kind of come to these realizations even earlier than I had or uh, it could be quantum leaps forward in their own life and perspective. But the first one was really when I was 18 years old. I, I met a guy in a restaurant waiting for a table and we got to talk and he took a liking to me and he invited me to this seminar. I'd never been to a personal development seminar. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it was a profound experience. It changed everything for me. Um, and the concept that I learned there that changed it was the idea that we are 100% responsible for our lives in every moment, in every circumstance, at all times, no matter what. And everybody thinks they understand that concept, but they seem not to be following or practicing it. But regardless of what's happening or what's going on, either by what you do or by what you don't do, a lot of times is the reason why you have the results that you have. You, you know you could, you know you should, but you don't. Right. And that's why you're now responsible for the outcome or by how you respond, what's done to you. And see, I always thought that I had to have the right education or that I had to come from the right family or had to have the right upbringing or I need, needed to know the right people or I needed to be in the right economy or the, the, the right president needed to be in the office. Uh, you know, and, and those were the reasons that were, were gonna be the factors for whether I could achieve or be successful. And this taught none of that has a factor whatsoever. Never. Nobody can do anything to you. They can't make you feel a certain way. They can't, you know, you own your life. You, you are, you know, your life is your own damn fault, right? At all right. times. You know, we are all self-made. Only the, sex, the successful seem to take credit for it. But we are all self-made at all times in every single moment. And uh, that was a very empowering concept because that meant if it's to be, it's up to me. And there are absolutely no excuses and there's no, nothing to wait for. There's nobody to wait for, and there's no time to wait for. Right. So what's interesting is, is, you know, I made money when George W. Or when George Bush Sr. was in office. I made money when uh, Clinton was in office. I made money when George W. was in office. I've made money when Obama's been in office, right? I've lost money during all those presidents as well, which seems to, to, to point out, doesn't matter who the damn president is. Right. Doesn't matter what the economy is. Doesn't matter what the traffic's like, what the weather's like, it doesn't matter what my neighbor said or what my wife, you know, complained about or what the, what the colleague or the competitor said or did or none of that matters. And so when you get a grip of that, it's so empowering mm -hmm. because now you have complete ownership and, and you can captain your ship regardless of the weather, regardless of the, you know, of the circumstances. And so that, that was a, that was a, the, the major turning point. And I'll talk a little bit about, more about it today and, and a few of the other major epiphanies but um, but that was the beginning and then you know since then it's been a succession of, of uh, awakenings you know as we all go through as the onion starts to peel its layers back right those aha moments yeah. right you go ah. yeah, uh.